and we're live on Facebook. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, teachers. Let's party. It's time to party. <laughs> All right. It's so, nice teach. Let's uh, let's uh, start receiving our students, our guests, All right. teachers. Let's welcome them as warmly as we can. Open mics. There you are. Hello, Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon. We're all so excited to be with you this afternoon. We're going to have a staycation party. Yes. Fun. Say hi, Matt. Hi, to hi, Mati. Hi. Hi, Sean. Hi, teacher. Hi, Elijah. Hi, Gavin. Hi, teacher. Hi, Arya. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Owen. Hi. Hi, Zia. You look so pretty. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Zila. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Andre. Hello, Florence. Hello. Hi. Hello. I can hear Royce. Hello. Hello. Hi. Right now. Hi. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hey, Ree. Hi, Ella. Hi, Enzo. Hi, Vila. Hi, Hello. Amri. Hi, Yeshua. Elijah. Hi. Hi, it's right. nice to see you. Okay, we'll be starting in a moment. Let's just give our friends a few more minutes. Hi, Bea. All right. Hello. Hi. Oh, that's Annika. Hey, everyone. Hi, Anaya. Good afternoon. You can say hi to your friends. Afternoon. Hi, Dea. How are you? Hi, Dea. Hi, Vander. Hello. Hi, Vander. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, good afternoon, RG. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Andre. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Abia. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Sean. I wanted to show this country ball for you. Cool. Wow. Thanks for showing us. That's cool. All right. So everyone, uh, our program is about to start. So please expect uh, Ms. Almeida to mute. Yes. Teacher Nina will be putting everybody on listening mode. All right. So later on, we'll be giving you a chance to say hi and hello to your friends. Okay, but for now... There you go. Everybody is on listening mode right now. Nina, good afternoon. Good afternoon, po. Good afternoon, teacher Nina. Turn on, teacher Nina. Good afternoon. All right, it is 1.02. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon, teachers, students, parents, and guests. Welcome to APDM Summer Culminating Program with the title, Let the Sun Shine in the APDM Staycation Party. O, ba? Even if we're in our homes right now, 
we are going to have a fun party. Alright? Okay ba yun? Can I get a thumbs up? Oh, yan! There you go. Thank you! Alright, so we are now live on Facebook via the ABM Facebook page. But all our students in the summer classes are in Zoom right now. So, it's a nice, nice occasion to celebrate the end of all our summer classes. Alright, but before that, just a few house rules for everybody. So, let's all remember to mute ourselves. Well, that's been taken care of right now. Everybody's listening to Miss Almeta. Good job for, for staying on mute. Next, we can use our chat box. So, if you have any questions or comments, if you would like to say hi, you can use the chat box. Later, during our game, we are going to use the chat box. All right? Next, if... Uh, your teachers are going to ask you to uh, uh, answer or to speak uh, live. Let's speak clearly, okay? So if you have a mic or a headset, use that. Next, let us always show respect to one another. Practice good Zoom etiquette and be respectful and considerate of each and everyone here in our Zoom. All right. So before we start with our program, may I request everybody to join us in prayer. And our prayer will be led by Darwin Francis Fajardo, Abia Chloe Elizette Plaza, and Yuan Kyle Rada from the Singaporean Maths class. Lord, as family suggests to be home as school close, we ask that you guide us in our new realities. Make us gracious towards each other. Prompt one our parents to speak words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all you have created. Inspire APD teachers how to use technology to deliver love, joy, and learning. Almighty God, we know that with you, nothing is impossible. Please, this COVID-19 virus was spreading. Give our leaders the stop and decisions. She farm liners for her. Touch the sick with your healing hands. Keep us together as one APDM family. We trust that with you sitting on our core, tomorrow brings a better world. And now, inaanyayahan ng lahat na ilagay ang ating kanang kamay sa ating dibdib para sabay-sabay na awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ito ay pangungunahan ni na Margaret Francesca Galindo, Luis Elijah Nagit, at Isabel Juliana Nanios of the Filipino Proficiency Class. Thank you, everybody. Now, let us proceed to the APDM 
to be led by Florence Marie Balucho, Lei Micaela Eleazar, and Ashton Elijah Laxa from the Introduction to Algebra class. Everybody, let's all sing the APDM hymn. Academia Progressiva de Manila brings a bright tomorrow for God is at the core and precious is the light. Academia Progressiva de Manila all parties are great. Forward, always forward, you must have warrior light. As our minds and bodies are nourished, servant leaders we emerge. From within humanity unfolds, better people we become. Good job, guys. Okay, so once again, good afternoon to everybody. All right, so welcome to our summer culminating activity 2021. All right, ang ating theme for this program is Let the Sun Shine In, the APDM Staycation Party. O, diba? So, uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce this young lady who is the representative from the Creative Public Speaking class. She's going to welcome all of us to today's party. She's no other than Miss Bea Bonzon. All right, a round of applause for Bea. Thank you, Bea. That was a nice speech. Yeah, nakakatuwa naman. Alright, and of course, if we have a student representative, the APDM program will never be complete without the opening remarks of our executive director and founder, Mr. Archie David. So everybody, let's give Teacher Archie a round of applause. 
Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for that warm welcome. I can feel the love from here. And uh, true to our theme, I am feeling the sunshine radiating from the screen. Kaya I'm wearing my cap over here. And I try to look summery with this uh, floral shirt. Uh, once again, good afternoon, dear parents, teachers, staff, guests, and of course, our beloved progressives. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. This afternoon, we are gathered to celebrate the achievements of our students upon successfully completing the different summer programs that we have offered this year. A while ago, Bea gave that very wonderful speech and explained to us what makes APDM summer programs extra special. This afternoon, I would like everyone to direct their attention to our theme, Let the Sun Shine In. Sounds familiar because I guess there's a song that you remember that has that line in its lyrics but it's carrying a very special meaning for me personally these days we have been restricted from doing the things that we normally do outdoors from meeting family and friends as often as we would want to because we would like to stay safe from COVID-19 but in our own special way as one APDM community. We all do our best to give joy and love to each other. That is why we feel that sunshine is let in our homes. Through the efforts of our very hardworking teachers and of course, our very selfless parents and learning facilitators, our students' time at home is made enriching and enjoyable. So this afternoon, let's just imagine ourselves being close to each other. And it would help feeling that way when we show our appreciation to everyone as we watch their AVP that our teachers have put together for this afternoon. I know many of you are watching from different parts of uh, the Philippines, and there are also some who are overseas. So I think that is one thing that is uh, wonderful about this setup. Even those who cannot come physically to our school can now be with us in celebration. So to all of our friends watching from Facebook Live, good afternoon to you. Let's all party. Let's all welcome the sunshine in our APDM community. Good afternoon, everyone. Enjoy the afternoon. Okay, thank you, sir. Yan. Pero here in APDM, we would also like to celebrate naman our students, especially those who are celebrating their birthdays. Diba, sir? That's yeah, right. So, and how many celebrants do we have, Miss Almeda? We have two celebrants na malapit na ang birthday. Ayan. So, in fact, si Anea tomorrow na yung birthday niya. And si Joriel naman on July 20. Wow! I hope you're here. Happy birthday, girl! Yeah, she's here. Hi, Anea! Happy birthday to you! Happy <laughs> girl! Yeah, and Joriel is also here. Hi, Joriel! Advanced Joriel. happy birthday! Advanced happy birthday! See, and because of that, girl. Ayan, to get with you. They're... Because of that, I will unmute everybody. Okay. So, yeah, you can unmute yourselves. Ayan, and join us in singing for our two birthday celebrants. All right. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. 
Happy Monday to the others. Happy wish in your mind and then at the count of three i will ask you to blow the candles all right all right girls jeriel and anaya at the count of three blow the candles right one two three blow the candles all right yay happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday Okay, thank you for joining us in greeting our birthday celebrants. But again, we all are going to be on listening mode, okay? There you go. Teacher Nina just put you on listening mode. There you are. All right. So moving on, we have one parent who's going to share with us her experience and her child's experience in the baking and cooking class. This I want to hear. Everybody join us in welcoming Mrs. Escalante, the mommy of Prince Hamantok. Ayan. Good afternoon, APDM community. Thank you for inviting us to be one of the parents who will be sharing experience. Prince was enrolled in the baking and cooking program. I was really hesitant and surprised by his decision since he said his favorite subject is math and he is a picky eater. But I guess our kids would like to explore more beyond the skills and competencies which they usually learn in their online classes. Thanks to teacher Cha, teacher Nell, and teacher Nicole, they get to explore different cuisines and even learn some foreign words like anyong and arigato. We did enjoy cooking and it became part of our routine this summer. Cooking different dishes became our bonding. Also, through these classes, I learned the skills my kid needs to improve like strengthening and controlling his fine motor skills. Therefore, we would like to thank all the teachers, staff, and admin for this wonderful vacation journey. Way to go, APDM! Thank you so much, Mrs. Galante and Prince. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to trying out some of your recipes of your dishes soon. Thank you, Mrs. Galante, yeah. for that message. I think you remember the first time I met you. And uh, ngayon nga po, uh, we welcome you officially to the APDM family. Thank you. All right. So once again, thank you po, Mommy, for sharing. And ayan, in true APDM fashion, hindi po tayo, uh, hindi to mawawala sa ating mga klase. Every day, we would have the APDM challenge. And we want to continue this tradition to our summer event. All right. And, uh, and since uh, it's very hard to travel these days, why not bring these uh, beautiful uh, destinations right to the homes of our progressives. Diba, Teacher Nina? Kaya yan ang ating tema nung game natin. That's this. true! Yeah, so we have mystery pictures uh, and uh, what you have to do is the teachers, Teacher Judith and Teacher Al will be calling on students to give us a number. Okay? And the numbers will reveal pictures, small pictures of this mystery tourist destination spot. Alright? The first student who types in, so you have to type in the correct name of this tourist spot in the chat box. Okay? The first student who types the correct answer wins this round. That's right. Alright? Students will get the chance to guess only after at least five tiles or uh -oh. have been revealed. Alright? So in the meantime, 
our uh, moderators will be disabling the chat box so no one can type their answers yet. But as soon as five pictures have been revealed, be quick in typing. Uh, mommies, if your kids need help in typing, it's all right for you to type for them for now, but have them try to guess the right answer for themselves. Okay, Miss Almeda, I think we're ready for the first round. What? Yes, sir, but we have to ask our of students. Course. Let's check if they're ready. Guys, APDM students. All right. All right. So let's have Good our day. first round. Okay, teacher Judith and teacher Al. Let's call on the students. Okay, I think Miss Almeda Enrico Royce was raising his hand first. Okay. So Enrico, would you like to choose from 1 to 18? Choose the number. Number. Enrico. All right, Enrico. Choose the number. Any number you like. Yes. I think Enrico said 12. 12. All right. Good choice, Enrico. Uh huh. Next. Who's next, Teacher Judy? How about, Teacher Nina, can we give a chance for our school readiness kids? How sure. Vander? Vander can you choose a number, Vander? Hi, Vander. Can you choose a number? Can you choose a number? Number. Number five. Five. Number five. Okay. Vander. Ooh, what could this place be? I think our kids already have an idea, but we have... Three more files to open. Yes. Yes, and I think. Yes, kindly. Okay, kindly wait for your turn. I think um, Andrea from the Filipino Proficiency Camp is raising her hand. Could okay, you Andrea. Andrea. Give us a number. Eight. Number eight. eight. Okay. Four. Andrea. Ooh, I think this is becoming clearer now. Uh huh. Exciting. Two more slides. Get your fingers ready to type your answer. How about David Gavin can help us choose David number to Gavin. reveal the picture? Come on, Gavin. Choose a number, Gavin. Gavin. All right. David Gavin. No. What number is that? Your microphone, Gavin. Come on, Gavin. What number? Nine. 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 All right. Oh, now that's very obvious. Nako, but our chat box is still uh, inactive because we have one more tile to open. Yes, I think also uh, easy, easy, easy. Easy. Number 10. Number 10. Easy. Okay. All right. Okay. Miss Almeda, at the count of three, kindly activate the chat box. The first student to type the correct answer wins this round. One, two, three. Chat boxes. There you go. We have a winner already. Ah. Wow, that was quick. Wow. Who's our winner, Miss Almeda? Congratulations to... Andrea Lexi Ongeko, she got Ooh. it right. This Ooh. is the Chocolate Hills chocolate from Hill. Bohol. Have you chocolate been to Bohol? Yes, yes. 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 Me. Wow. I've been, there. I've been there when I was, when, when I was little. I've been there. All right. That's great to know. Yes, yes, that's, that's the, the those are the Chocolate Hills. Okay, moving on to our next mystery picture. Okay, Teacher Judith and Teacher Al, let's call on the students. Let's uh, have the second round. Yes, I think. Oh, there's a lot of raise, uh, raised hands. I think Arya would like to try and give Aria. a number. Arya. Okay, Arya. Um, maybe seven. 
seven. seven. All right. Seven. Good. Next. Aria. Ooh, that's intriguing. What? Wait for teacher now, Judith to call you. Okay. How about let's give? I know it's a. I know it's a cave river. Don't say the answer. Don't say the answer. Don't say the answer. Yeah, I know. Pero don't say the answer. Okay, thank you. Matty, how about river. Matty? Matty, it's time for you to give the to give a number, Matty. All right, Matty. Matty, come on, unmute your microphone, Matty. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Oh, hi. Thanks, Matty. Number nine. Okay. Oh, I think that's becoming. Mark Clear. Who's the next player, Mr. Asehan? Yes, I think Yeshua is raising his... Yes, yes. Yeshua. Choose the number, Yeshua. One. Number, number one. one. Oh, where could two. this be? I see next, rocks. who's next? And plants. How about Erin? Erin Guerrero, can you choose us? Erin. Erin, please. All right, Erin, what's number the number? Two. Number 10. Number 10. 10. All yeah. right. Thank one you for one. that. Ooh, I see. One six. last. Oh, that's one. Uh -huh. okay, one last. One last. Okay, how about Ozzy? Oh, Ozzy, it's your turn Ozzy. to choose. Number 17. 17. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's obvious now. Without a doubt, that's water. Hmm. That. Where could this be? Are you ready to All guess? Right, to the count of three, we're going to open the yes. chat box. One, two, three. Type your answers. You have to be specific. Yeah, type your answer. Where could that be? All right. We have a winner. Okay. Can you see the answers, Teacher Archie? Yes, I think I'm going to choose the student who gave the most specific answer. Uh-huh. And that is? David. David, David, who said, underground river of Puerto Princesa. That's correct. All right. So big All right. David. Congratulations, David. Okay, don't worry. You have more pictures again. Next. But your answer is call on the students. Palawan, Puerto Princesa. But, uh, yes. Good job, David. Four. I think okay, the most specific my... answer. Okay. Okay. Ellie, Ellie is raising his hand. Ellie? Yes, Ellie. Number 16. Number 16. Number 16. Number 16. Ooh. All right. Ooh. What's this? First picture. Next student. How about Isami? Mimi, come on. Mimi. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Ten. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, where you probably you? saw this already in I our textbook. But let's open three more times. Jeremy, Jeremy. Okay. How about Jeremy. Olivia? Olivia, would you like to choose a number? Olivia, choose a number. Number nine. Number, Number nine. nine. The best. Uh huh. Okay. Ooh. This is another famous uh, tourist attraction in the mm. I hope one day you all can go visit. Okay, two more numbers. I know Zia Flores can help us choose number as well. Zia, can you help us choose number, please? Number eight. Number, Number eight. eight. Okay. Oh, I'm sure you know this already. That's right. That's but right. But one uh, last picture. Just for okay. us to be absolutely sure. Let's open one Let's more. Let's call Lucio. Lucio. Give us it's your number. turn. Um, Number eight. I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Number five. All right. 
course. Thank, Thank you, you for waiting. Uh huh. All right, guys. Be ready to type. Out of three, our chat box will open. One, two, three. Make your answer specific. Okay. Yes. Wow, there All are All right, congratulations. So many answers. So many responses. Yes. Thank you to uh, all. All the responses, you're correct. But the first to type the right answer is no other than Elisa May. Congratulations, May. Big hand All for right. There. This is the Banawe Rice Terraces. Yes. Guys, did you know that the, the Banawe Rice Terraces right, was a... Uh, Carved oh, out the from the mountain using the bare hands of our ancestors from the mountainous Amazing. regions in the north. And uh, because of that design, they're able to control the flow of water such that they're able to irrigate the rice that they plant so that they will bear, uh, bear uh, yield rice productively. Okay, thank you for that, Elisa. I think, Miss Almeda, we have uh, time for one more round. One more, okay. One more round. Okay. Uh, time to raise your hands if you want to choose a number. Thank you for trying, for typing your answer. Andrea, Andre, Pauline. Yes, yes, I think Pauline yes. is raising her hand. Pauline, I saw Pauline also. All right, Pauline, choose a number. Seven. Seven. All right. Seven. X. Oi. Wow. Wow. Looks beautiful. I think I want to go there. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. How Let's about try. Isabella. Isabella? Isabella, yes. Bella. Number, Isabella. Um, number nine. Number, number nine. nine. Okay. Wow. Nine from That's Isabella. a nice picture. Okay. Very good. Next, I think David. 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 Okay. David that was a number. What? Eight. Eight. Oh. David. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh, thank you. Now, this picture is clear. Thanks for choosing that, David. I see Andre raising his hand. Andre Santos. Andre. Choose a number. Yes. Uh, 18. 18. 18. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Ooh, lots of trees there. And one more picture. One more. One more picture. Picture, Judy. Can you help us? Please, choose. How about? Uh, Enrico. 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 Ah, Enrico. Come on. Enrico, choose a number, please. Hmm. 16. 16. 16. Good choice. Okay, thank right, you. There Enrico. you go. I think you among all the pictures, this? this is the toughest one. Oh, oh in, my. in the Philippines, we have so many beautiful islands. Go but ahead. which among our cluster of islands could this be all right which among the cluster of islands in the philippines could this be ready with your answers at the count of three our chat box will be open one two three type your answer type away all right let's see let's see let's see okay I think we have a winner here. Yes, the correct answer is 100 Islands. 100 yes. Islands. The 100 Islands. Zia Flores got it. That's Zia right. Zia Flores got it also, Pauline. Right, but the first to type the correct answer is Matty. Congratulations, Matty. Oh, yes. Okay, congratulations, everybody. That All was right. fun. Andre again, found in Pangasinan. Wow. Right, that's found 
Hundred Islands are in Pangasinan. Have you been to the Hundred Islands? Not I yet. No, not, not maybe when no, uh, it's safe already, we can visit Bye, this place. Wonderful. All right. Okay. So that ends our APDM challenge. Thank you for your active participation. Oh, I saw one photo there. That was a picture of the perfect cold Mayon volcano. That's right. right. Edda, what's what else is in store for us this afternoon? Okay, so right after our APDM challenge, wherein we got to see some of the famous tourist spots in the Philippines, now we are going to see what you guys have accomplished during our summer programs. All right, let's start with the babies in the APDM family, our students from the school readiness and play group. Class, let's watch this. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face early in the morning. Wash, 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 wash. Wash, wash, wash. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair early in the morning. Comb, 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 comb. Comb, comb, comb. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth early in the morning. Brush, 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 brush. Brush, brush, brush. This is the way we get dressed, get dressed, get dressed. This is the way we get dressed early in the morning. This is the way we go to school, go to school, go to school. This is the way we go to school early in the morning. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle on 
you run away with the teddy bear Wiggle and wiggle Wiggle at breakfast, lunch or tea Wiggle and wiggle Wiggle along with me, that's right Wiggle along with me Such a cute, cute video from our school readiness and play group class. Adorable kids. Thank you, students, so for cute. showing us how you take care of your bodies independently. You know, your parents can be quite busy at home, so doing those things by yourself really help. And dancing makes us alert and ready for our schoolwork. Very good. Thank you. School yeah. readiness play group. Muli, maraming salamat sa ating school readiness and play group class. Ay, ang ating susunod na pagdatanghal, mahuhulaan niyo ba kung anong susunod na magpapakitang gila sa atin ngayong hapong ito? Mukhang mahuhulaan ko yan. Kaya mo bang hulaan, Ay, Teacher Archie? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, ano ba ang Tagalog? Uh, uh, isang kudyat na ito ang tamang sagot ay iyo. Uh, binibining Almeda ang AVP ng Filipino Proficiency Class. Tama, Tama ba? Tumpak ang iyong kasagutan, Ginoong David. Ayan. Nako. Bago tayo ay maging makata ngayong hapon na ito, ipakikilala na natin ang ating susunod na pagtatanghal. Ito ay mula sa ating Filipino Proficiency Class. Tara na at ating panoorin ang kanilang inihanda. Alright! Kami po ang mga mag-aral mula sa Pilipino Proficiency na magpapakitang gila sa ralangan ng pagtula ng pin pinamagatang sa aking mga magulang. Likha ni Jerome Apilia. Ang sakit picture niyo. Sumayala ka 
So, ang ating natunghayan ay ang Filipino Proficiency Class. Alright. So, bakit ba tayo merong ganitong class? We want our students to develop a deeper appreciation for the Filipino language. Diba? So, nowadays, we know that our children, our students are more adept at the English language. That's not bad, not bad at all, but we also want our students to remain uh, true to our roots, di po ba? So, we want our children to still know how to speak Tagalog or the Filipino language. Alright, so maraming salamat, Filipino Proficiency Class, for that very touching tribute to our parents. No? Talaga namang oh, kitang-kita natin. Yes, mahusay. Kitang-kita natin kung paano sinusuportahan ng mga magulang ang kanilang mga anak. Alright. So now, for our next... Salamat. Yes, for our next uh, performers, we would like to call on... Nako, sana po meron kayong mga katabing snacks jaan or drinks. Meron ba kayong mga fruit shake or smoothie jaan? Baka meron kayong mga merienda. Si Teacher Nina may coffee. Kasi, nako, kailangan natin ng baon habang papanoori natin itong next class because we are going to watch the video from the baking and cooking class. Alright? So, let's watch this and lahat tayo, I'm sure we're going to get hungry. Alright, let's go. From Egg Musubi, we did it last time. It was quick and easy. Oh, I remember. What are the ingredients again? Teacup. 
cooked rice, granulated sugar, two tablespoons soy sauce, six large eggs, one cup span cut into ten slices, five sheets zero weed or nori sheets. Pack the eggs into the mixing bowl. Beat it using white iris until the yolk and egg whites are blended. Once done, put your pan into medium heat. Put small amount of oil, then pour it on a beaten egg. Let it cook for two to three minutes. Do to the spam. Slice the spam into at least nine pieces. Soy sauce, mix the soy sauce and sugar. Prepare your pan, put in medium, put small amount of water. Add the spam and cook until crispy on both sides. Pour the soy sauce. Pour, pour on the spam. Cut the nori sheets. Put rice on the molder next to the egg and spam. Press until it is firm. Roll it on the nori sheets. Oops. It is it is important to wash your hands properly for twenty seconds because your hands will get dirty. Dish did you like the most? Pancake doyaki. Did you learn in baking and cooking class? At the first day, I was a little bit nervous, but from now on, I made some friends, and it was fun making. A lot of food and my family enjoyed it. I learned about making spamasubi, pizza bread, and egg roll. I am a Desi! Sayonara! Kamida! Kusuro! Those are yummy snacks that you prepared. So thank you, That's baking right. and cooking class, for that video. I hope that uh, one day uh, you can give your parents a break and prepare some of those uh, snacks for and treats for them. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, baking and cooking class. Yes, that made me so hungry, nako. But later na, later na. We have we have a program pa, eh, de ba? So moving right. on. I have my coffee, so that's good for now. Diba? But moving on, we have another parent who's here to share with us their experience with the reading camp in APDM. Ayan, so help me in welcoming Mr. and Mrs. Abdullah Karim, the parents of Norhadea Adan Abdullah Karim, again from the reading camp. Class. All 
Good morning to the teachers of APDM. We are the parents of Norhadea Abdullah Karim and would like to share our experiences when Dia is attending the APDM reading camp. So when Dia started the session, um, we found her not so much interesting because we just convinced her. But after the first session she attended, from time to time, every time that it is MWF, she woke up earlier because she said that uh, she has a class. So that's how the changes we noted on her attitude. And aside from that, uh, when Mom Cho actually sending the, the, the recorded uh, sessions they have from time to time, Dea is checking it even without our presence. She, she did check the, the recorded uh, uh, session and uh, she shared to us that she know uh, the, the, the weaknesses, uh, what, what topics uh, she should uh, concentrate uh, so that uh, she can uh, continuously learn the session. But anyway, uh, beside me is uh, her father and would like to share also her observation on Dia because uh, he's the one assisting uh, Dea uh, during the the sessions. Uh, please share to us okay, ano yung more morning uh, to everybody, sa lahat ng teacher ng uh, APDM at uh, kay Sir RG, maraming salamat kay Manju sa observation namin kay Norhadia, malaking pagbabago sa kanyang uh, talento sa bahay at sa ka sa kanyang uh, mga pinsan. Minsan sa bahay, uh, ginagamit niya ang English na natutunan niya kay Ma'am Jo. Maraming salamat po sa EPDM. And uh, thank you for uh, sa lahat ng magagandang strategy na ina-apply nyo. Sa totoo lang, ang laking pagbabago kay Dia. Uh, kahit man lang sa interest niya sa pag-aaral ay uh, na, 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 kumbaga, nagising so we really thankful doon sa tiyaga ninyo na turuan si Dia at ang isang pinakamagandang karanasan niya ay yung individual session at na-appreciate namin yun kasi may focus talagang ang one-to-one -one session ay uh, malaking contribution na magbago o matuto yung mga estudyante nyo. So maraming salamat sa lahat ng uh, tulong ninyo. Hopefully uh, magtuloy-tuloy si Dia sa APDM. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Wow, thank you po. Thank you so salamat. much. Thank you, Mr. Vince Karim, Noraida. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong mensahe. At uh, ako naman ay sobrang proud kay Dea no, sa uh, pagbabago na kanyang pinamalas sa attitude, sa learning. Uh, ang Karim family po ay nandoon pa sa South Cotabato. Uh, uh, ngunit uh, ramdam na ramdam namin si Dea dahil napakasipag niyang pumasok sa ating mga online classes. So sa mga teachers na tumulong uh, kay Dea sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral dito, maraming salamat. Uh, ngayon nakita natin ang uh, impact ng inyong uh, dedikasyon sa buhay ng ating mga mag-aaral at kanilang mga pamilya. So salamat po na marami. Alright, thank you po once again and good job! Good job, Dea. Good job, Dea. Yes, good job. Okay, so our next class or next set of performers, medyo in informative naman tayo ngayon, mm. sir. Okay, so okay. our next class will share with us some trivia and information that I myself, you know, I didn't know about this before. So, Natutuwa ko when I was watching their video. I learned a lot, ha, actually. Oh, actually, Ms. Oh. Almeida, I think this will be a good video for our elementary students to watch dahil pag-graduate nila ng elementary, tiyak na aaralin din nila yung matututunan nila dito sa next video dahil ito ay mula sa ating algebra class, tama? That's algebra right. For the first time. Algebra. For the first time, APDM offered an intro to algebra class para naman to help our graduates, our students prepare for high school, diba? So, uh, 
marami kayong matututunan dito sa video na ito. So, konting trivia at information at bandang huli, may konting demonstration ng mga skills. Yes. Alright, let's watch this. Alright. Oh, did you hear that? That means it's already time. But I forgot to mention, did you know that we will be having a Matalino Quiz B on July 14, 2021? Oh, really? I want to join, teacher. How about you, Lake? Yes, I'd love to join, too. Me, too. Florence, have you ever wondered how ancient civilization measured things in the past? Yeah. I'm also curious about how ancient civilization were able to calculate and compute everything. How about you, Ashton? Hmm, I seldomly ask myself about those things you've mentioned. But what keeps me on wondering is how did they came up with the concept of algebra? For us to know about these things, let us prepare ourselves as we're about to learn from the founders of algebra. They will enlighten our mind with their creations that became useful in our everyday living. Welcome to Masang Lawin. This is where you're going to witness people in the ancient civilization who developed the theories in algebra, set theory, and also in metric system. I'm Al Khwarizmi. Do you want to know what I did in the field of algebra? I wrote one of the first books on algebra where I presented a systematic explanation on the basic theory of equations, including both examples and proofs during the 9th century AD. Wow, that's interesting. But how does ancient civilization group items or objects? Like sets? I wonder how it was discovered. Hmm. It's me, George Cantor. I developed the set theory and proved that the set of real numbers is more numerous than the set of natural numbers. This shows, for the first time, that there exist infinite sets of different sizes. Wow! That's sounds great, but how do they measure things? Like height and weight of an object? Well, we use the metric system that was developed from 1791 onwards by a committee of the French Academy of Sciences, commissioned to create a unified and rational system of measures. That was so informative. Wow, I feel like I'm a genius now. <laughs> That's good to hear, Lane Florence. Now we're ready to join the Matalino Quiz B. Good day, everyone. I'm Miss Vera. And I am Miss De Guzman. Welcome to APGM's Matalino Season 1. Today, you will see some students of APDM as they showcase their talents in solving algebraic equations. Before we begin, let's introduce our participants. Yes, Ms. Vera, can you do the honor? Let's start with Florence. Hello everyone, I'm Florence. Next, Ashton. Hello, my name is Ashton Laksa. And of course, the last but not the least, Lee. Hello, I am Lee. Thank you for that, Miss Vera. Now let's begin. Identify what is S. It is a branch of mathematics in which symbols are used to represent unknown numbers of a particular set. You have a minute to write your answer. See your answers? Okay, Ashton says it's algebra. Lee's answers? Okay, algebra. And Florian's answer is algebra. Ms. De Guzman, what is the correct answer for this? Yes, it is algebra. All of you got it correct. Good job. Next is our average round. So the question is, who is the father of algebra? You have a minute to write your answer. So the answer of Florence is Alcorismi. The answer of Ashton is Alcorismi. What about they? Let me see the answer, Mr. Guzman. Okay, so all of you got the correct answer for this one.
evaluate 4x to the third power plus 3x squared minus 2y if x is 6 and y is 8. You have a minute to solve this problem. Board up. Florence's answer is 12,380. Ashton's answer is 12,380. And Liz's answer is 12,380. Mr. Guzman, what's the final answer? Good job. Good job, everyone. And let's end our math quiz for today. Congratulations to all of you. That was a good game. Yes, that was fun. All of us won. But you know what? Something on my mind. What is it? I wonder. What is the importance of all this? Hmm. Well, algebra is important to us because without algebra, we cannot build houses, roads, even make it into the trash can. At first sight, algebra might seem hard just like our life. But just like an algebra, it has a solution to every problem, too. Wow. Congratulations to the students of Introduction to Algebra for being such great mathematicians and I must say, fantastic actors as well. <laughs> Ako, parang pwede kong bigyan ng uh, Oscars trophy yung mga nasa Intro to Algebra class at for role-playing those diba? prominent role mathematicians. So, pa sila. Uh, may activity. That's how it uh, is oh. naman in APDM. We want the lessons to be fun and entertaining. Teacher Nina, would you like to share the good news that Florence recently shared to us? Yes, Florence, are you here? I think she's here. I saw yes, her. Yes, congratulations. We would like to congratulate you for yet another achievement. One of our graduates, our recent graduates, Florence Balucho, has been accepted in the. Florence, would you like to do the honors and share with everybody? What school is it? Hold on, I'll ask to unmute. There you go. So I'll be enrolling to the New York Science High School. Oh, diba? Medyo slow motion yon, pero Florence will be enrolling in the Mandaluyong Science High School. Yay. That's great, great news. Congratulations, Florence and Mommy! Congrats po, congrats. Good job, good job. Ang galing. Nakakatawa po. Right. You're so you proud of you. From your other batchmates as well. I'm, I'm pretty confident that they will do as well. And hopefully, this uh, algebra class of yours will give you a head start uh, to the next school year when you move to Mandalorian Science. Thank yes. you. Congratulations. Thank Stay you, Florence. You did so well, too. Good luck. And we're so proud of you. All right. So, bago po tayo dumayo sa, bago tapos nating dumayo sa algebra, dito naman tayo sa Singaporean maths. Diba? So, our students have been learning more about Singaporean maths. Alright, so nako, gusto ko malaman, ano naman kaya yung pinrepare nila for us this afternoon? Everybody, let's watch this! Hmm. Why do I have to learn math at school? 
Hi, I'm Lee Perez, a student from Singaporean Math. Now let's know why math matters. Seven o'clock in the morning! Just try to start the day. Math helps us to tell time! For us to make a delicious drink for breakfast, we need one glass of warm water, of two scoops of powder milk. When I find my teeth on school, I did all the things. First, I put my drink. Second, I put my pencil case. Third, I put my paper. I put my paper. Lastly, I put my food. Then, Matt helped me arrange my things orderly. While waiting for my teacher to let me in for my class session, I have noticed that everything around me has shapes. One great example is my laptop. It's rectangular in shape. Math helps me identify. Okay class, let's do the math dance. Everybody come on, let's stand up. The dance is all about the basic math operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I learned how to count and follow basic steps and patterns while dancing. Math teaches us about taking away, putting together, multiplying, and dividing equally. Why math matters. 
All right, there Indeed. you go. Math Indeed. Matters. Yeah, math matters. That's diba? right. Such a, such a good uh, activity to teach our children the love for math. That's diba? right. Hindi, hindi dapat katakutan ang math. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, um, this uh, video uh, clearly shows us how our students have learned to love math, not just because of the fun activities, but because they've learned to appreciate why it's useful in day-to-day life. That's Kita true, that's true. Kanina. Naku, kung siguro, uh, hmm. mami ko, uh, si Mrs. Furigay, for every perfect quiz that I get, <laughs> tapos siguro panay, panay ang order ko din ng, uh, ng food. Dahil magsisikap talaga ako to get perfect scores sa mga quizzes ko growing up. Oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, math, Singaporean math class for that. Yes. And thank you, Mrs. Furigay, for the cameo, for the special appearance. Diba? Talaga namang oh, supportive si mommy. Always. Alright. And from one supportive mom to another, let's all listen to mommy, to the mommy of, uh, uh, of uh, Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. Kezia Joy Flores. Yan. So, mommy siya ni Zia from the School Readiness and Play Group class. Alright. So, let's listen to her testimonial and sharing. A happy Wednesday to you all, Ate Mrs. Saiban Flores the mother of Cecilia Joy. Uh, Zia is an independent child. She can do tasks even without being told. But she has a tendency to be shy which sometimes makes it challenging for other people to communicate with her, especially in getting her response. Uh, we want her to be not only physically and mentally ready, but also emotionally and socially prepared this coming school year since She's also a first-timer. For this year's summer camp, we have decided to enroll her at the school readiness and playgroup program. Uh, during the duration of the program, there are times na nahihiya pa din siya. Sometimes, she even cries before the start of the class. But with all the encouragement coming from us and also from Teacher Pen, Teacher Bree, Teacher Dean, and Teacher Gail, she was able to overcome her shyness and later on, she started to enjoy all the fun activities and learnings. The teachers also established rapport with her easily. That's why she felt comfortable with them. And with that, we know that we have made the right decision in letting her join the school readiness and playgroup program. We are extremely happy whenever we see her participate in the class whether it may be through annotating or when she raises her hand when she knows the answer and dancing with her classmates. Uh, she's very attentive and listening in all the lessons and we can see her eagerness and excitement to learn new things. The teachers also are well trained in handling the little ones. Uh, they are very calm, they are very kind, very patient, and very loving. Ang laking bagay din nung binibigay na lang positive reinforcement sa students. It helps them believe in themselves that they can do it. And whenever they give compliments sa mga bata, whether they are showing their toys or kung ano yung suot nilang damit that day. And also, kapag nakakasagot sila sa mga tanong ng teachers, uh, it really helps to boost their confidence within themselves. For us, ATBM is the best possible place for our children, Kiyoshi and Zia, to learn, play, and get educated. We are happy that Zia is now one of the progressive, and we are even more excited to watch her bloom even more. Thank you, ATBM, for giving her a fun learning experience this summer and to more wonderful experiences in the future. Zia, do you want to tell teacher something? One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And God bless. Bye. Good job. Uh, good job.
Good thank job, Zia. You, mommy. Hey, mommy. Thank you, Mrs. Flores. Zia, good job. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. Perfect. Already you are blooming. I can just imagine the many more things that we will uh, learn together this coming school year. Thank you, Mrs. Flores, for that message. Truly, truly warms our heart. Okay, our next video is from the reading camp. Now, kids, are you still okay? Can I get a thumbs up? Are you still listening, the teacher? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Because, ayan, I want everybody to listen because right now we're going to have a storytelling session. Alright, the students from the reading camp prepared a beautiful story about our friends from under the sea. Alright, so I hope you listen to the story entitled, Commotion in the Ocean. Let's watch this. Hello everyone, today we are going to show you everything we have learned from our reading camp. Will begin giving a story for you titled Commotion in the Ocean. So please sit down, relax, and enjoy the performance from our reading campers. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. They think we ought to go take a look. We'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea, swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white whale. But can you see behind the wreck and in between the rock? Let's see if we can find who's hiding there. The crowd likes walking sideways and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Turtles crawl off the beach from the water to bury our eggs or fry them. They are the full of the batch. Then they hatch and grow about in the sand. The wonderful things about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not, how do you do? Like I say to you, it's more of a Click with some squeak. Hello, I'm the angel fish. Darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame if there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Shark, I swim with the grip up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please, take a good look inside. I love to chase at the small fish and it stops me getting bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a you on my dog. Having eight arms can be useful. To make room, it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold on my children and tickle each one of their family. Stingray! At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, but don't get too close to him. His tail really stinks. Lobster! Now she hands with the lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Deep sea, miles below the surface, where the waters dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. A fish of all the species, of every shape and size. Somehow, giant root teeth and great big bubbles hide. Some of them can walk around and balance on their feet. The green discs of all have glowing whiskers on the plane. Ooh, where are 
angels. There's no other beast on the planet. And think as the dancing blue whale. It measured a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Wall who says, Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show we are mighty and strong. Oh. We waddle about on our icebergs, which makes our feet slitter and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a swoosh up the side. Keep in the Arctic, the mummy from the bear, the ghost talks with all her children, as the very goes out there. A lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea, but a lot of funny things we do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite, and some might swim around you. The dolphin is very friendly, and the lobster is very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends? We've made it along the way. See if you can tell me who they are. That was beautiful. Wow. Teacher Nina, you can see from the facial expressions of our storytellers that they themselves understood the material that they read. Kitang kita yon sa yes. And uh, I bet all of you were enthralled listening to them because they read the words with feelings, with the right intonation, with uh, voice and modulation, with voice modulation. Uh, and emotions. Good job. And emotions. Ang mm -hmm. You know, I can I'm see impressed. many of these students perhaps being invited in some of our preschool uh, classes to be leaders, storytellers for the little ones. Don't you agree with yes. me, Definitely, definitely. I think our students are great storytellers ngayon pa lang. What more? Diba? When they practice and read more books, I'm sure they'll definitely. be better storytellers. Definitely. So parents, moms and dads, lolos and lolas, ates and kuyas, continuously encourage your children to read books. Um, have them choose uh, topics that they're interested in uh, just for them to love reading. All right. Thank you. Uh, reading class thank for you that to our reading story. campers. You did a great job with that story. All That's right. right. Miss Almeda, yung susunod na video natin is quite unique because they're actually giving everyone here a virtual tour of APB. Wow, That's another right. impressive another innovation. Yes. Indeed. Oh, oh. Alam ko diba? there are many of you here who probably have not come to APDM yet and those of you who have I'm sure you miss being in the school already. So this next video is prepared by our public speaking class and uh, they will be highlighting some of the uh, facilities of the school para mas ma-invite po natin ang friends natin to mm -hmm. come and join the ATDM family. That's right. So students, I know you miss APDM and the school. I'm sure you miss going to school. All right, but for now, we have to enjoy our staycation party at home and watch the virtual tour of our school instead. All right, are you ready for our virtual tour? Yes, okay, let's watch this.
Are you looking for a progressive, diverse, and inclusive school? Or are you looking for something that will make serious learning more fun and memorable? Well, worry no more because you are watching the right video. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to Academia Progressiva de Manila! Here in APDM, we do not only have fun features. We also have a jolly school garden dancing class and artists. Academia Progressiva de Manila is not just a school. Academia Progressiva de Manila is a vibrant and progressive learning community that enables students to become confident, independent, enterprising, caring, and inquisitive learners fully prepared for a higher education. This is Academia Progressiva de Manila. This is a second home for hundreds of proactive students and their families. Inside this building are air-conditioned classrooms of preschool and grade school learners. A place where some of the soft skills develop such as problem solving and critical thinking. Social responsibility and democracy are essential in instilling and developing our identity as Filipinos. In our garden, learners were taught how to appreciate nature and the do's and don'ts of taking care of the environment. A gym where students get to meet new friends from different levels and express their ideas. In our multi-purpose room, I can proudly say that APDM offers lectures and programs to help us become self-sufficient and socially responsible citizens. For contextualized and actual learning activities, we all can go to the roof deck. Contexts play an important role in our learning. We get to construct our own meanings of things, places, and people. And sometimes, to better understand our topics, we just need a new perspective. No, no, no. I'm getting hungry. Let's visit Abelada's Diner as Maslow's hierarchy of needs explains we must satisfy the first level to eventually get to the higher needs. In Abelada's Diner, we serve healthy, delicious, and kid-friendly dishes for us to be more energized and focused to other classes. Developmentally, appropriate books and materials are found in the library. This satisfies our curiosity. The comfort rooms really bring comfort. These are always squeaky clean. have an elevator. This helps carry our bags from the ground floor to our rooms. We also have our play area, an area where our little progressives jump, run, skip, but most importantly, play with their classmates. Lastly, in case of accidents, APDM is always ready. Learners are trained and taught where to go in case of fire and other emergencies. See, this is where progressive learning develop and expire. Yet, we must not forget that all of these were ignited by a passionate spark. This is Apelado Apollo David Jr. for our dear teacher Archie. He is our dynamic, inspiring, and visionary founder. Therefore, 
teacher Archie. And to all the amazing staff and teachers, thank you for creating a second home. This is Academia Progressiva de Marina. We are preparing the child for life. Ayun, Teacher Nina, what can you say diba? about my pinapakameo pa ako sa dulo? Oo oh, oh, nga, the... sir. <laughs> I'm included in the script. But thank you for that video. I hope that made you feel a little less school sick if there's a term homesick because mm-hmm. it's been a while since you've been in the campus. That's so, right. And uh, not only uh, did that video show you the facilities, but I, I bet parents and students are now reminded of what the school stands for. Yung kanyang principles, mm-hmm. yung kanyang mga values na explained in some video na yan. So thank you to our excellent public speakers and I must say ambassadors of APD mm-hmm. because of that Ang video. Galing. Surely, marami pa siguro ibang mga families ang ma-attract to join our community. Thank you! Indeed. Thank you to our progressives. Yan. So, right now, we are going to showcase all the achievements and the activities of our students in all the summer classes that we've had. We've seen individual snippets of their classes but for now let's enjoy this avp made by our teachers for all our students all right so kahit man lang kahit tayo ay nasa mga bahay-bahay natin we get to enjoy each other's company ayan through these videos all right so everybody let's all watch the summer avp made by your teachers
Please remember that good speakers are made and not worn. Thank you to our teachers for uh, compiling those fabulous pictures and videos and to the parents as well for sending us 
the snippets that we've put together. Oh, Miss Almeda, hmm. can you believe it? Tapos na ang ating summer classes? Oo nga. I actually can't believe it. It went by so fast. Diba? Sobrang Truly, bilis truly. lang. And Miss Almeda, syempre, no ATDM program will not be complete without... Can you guess, students? What's this? Oh! <laughs> it's Teacher Archie's Magic Fish Bowl. That means only one thing. We're gonna have a... Can you guess? You're right! A raffle draw! We're going to have a raffle! Yes! That's right! And you know what? Our prizes are very special accessories that will be quite useful these days. We call these face mask lanyard. Right? These are actually handmade by our friends from ILLC. Remember? Friends from ILLC visiting the classrooms every so often to learn with you. See how talented they are in beading all these beautiful, one-of-a-kind lanyards. So we're giving away five. Five of these. And if you're one of the lucky winners, you can call the office so we can coordinate how you might be able to pick them up. Or, pwedeng isabay namin sa release sa ng inyong books. Yes. Ah, ah. All right. And so, here's an example. Ayan. Ayan. Can See? you show us, Miss Almeda, how it's used? Okay. How it's like a necklace for your face mask. You put it on so you don't lose your face mask. That's See? right. There's the lanyard. Ang galing naman. And when you eat, Miss Almeda, because of that, you don't have to put it oh, on your oh. table. Oh, oh, you don't put get... it down sa table kasi baka dirty. So you just right. put it, you hang it there. Yan, parang necklace natin, di ba? So nobody right. will get your mask. It's safe, it's clean, and you won't That's lose right. it. Quite right? an invention. Okay, yeah. so I hope you, you'll be one of the lucky winners. We'll be, draw, we'll be giving away five of these. All right, beautiful lanyards made by our ILLC friends. And by the way, I'm sure yung mga kids and yung mga parents naman natin are also interested to learn about our sister school. A piece of good news. ILLC will be launching an online shop in Lazada. So yung mga kuyas and atres natin doon, yes. meron ang outlet ng kanila mga products to help yes. them gain livelihood. Diba? So, matutulungan natin yung kuyas and ates natin to earn money, to support themselves and their families and buy important things that they need in school and at home. All right. Enough na yung shameless plug ko, Miss Almeda. <laughs> shameless, yes, shameless sir. plug. But Let's sure draw our winners. Parents are happy to hear about that. Uh-oh. Here is our first winner. Let's see, let's see. Our first winner is... Who is that? It's oh, no can't. other than... Oh, well, Ashton Laksa! Ashton. Congratulations, Congratulations, Ashton! Ashton. Round of applause for you! Tina Mome, sound effects pa! <laughs> our second yes, winner... Our second winner... Is no other than... Congratulations! It's Prince! Prince. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations, Prince! Yay. Your sister, Angel, will be happy to receive this on your behalf. Yeah. She goes to so often these days. Third winner is... Yeah, now let's see who wants to win the lanyard. Raise your hand! Raise your hand if you want Teacher to Judith win. is raising her hand. Frankie Z. Vander. Wow, Darwin! Ang daming gustong manalo, sir. Oo nga. But Who is third, our yeah. lucky winner? Can Who you is read? that? That is Marie Perez. Congratulations, Marie. Congratulations, Marie. Congratulations. 
Was right. it you who was wearing that beautiful Filipiniana dress a while ago? Parang I remember her wearing a... She Filipino was dress. wearing a red, parang a red or burgundy dress, I think. Burgundy. When she introduced okay. the Singaporean maths class. In Singaporean math. Uh-oh, okay. yung math Here. matters. Ay, yeah, ay, yeah, ay, remember now. Uh-oh. Okay, number four. Fourth, fourth, fourth. Yes, our is... fourth winner. Let's see. Erin Guerrero, congratulations, Erin! Congratulations, Erin! Are you still here, Erin? Wow! Now, can see Erin John. Yeah. All right! Yay, Erin! Congratulations! <laughs> and our last winner for this uh, event, Raffle, is. May drum rolls ba tayo dyan? Wala. Ano na lang? Yan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear that. Okay, Mano-manong can, drum roll. Ito na. Ito na. All right. Congratulations. Sino Two. ang ating fifth winner? It is, sir, can you back it up a bit? Francesca Claire Reyes. Congratulations. Congratulations to All our right. lucky winners. Okay. Ashton, we, friends, Erin, and Francesca. There you go. Congratulations to our raffle draw winners. Uh, for your lanyards, uh, we can coordinate with the admin office. If you want to pick it up from school, you may do so. But if you want to, uh, if you want to pick it up when you pick up your textbooks, that's fine too. Okay. That's right. Okay. Of course. Uh, in true APDM uh, tradition, before we part, it's always lovely to hear from our school principal, uh, no other than the very hardworking Ms. Uh, Nina Almeda, uh, for her closing remarks and uh, for some special and important reminders for us all. How about a big round of applause of welcome and appreciation for Teacher Nina? Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. And thank you to everybody, to all the parents, to the students. If you stayed with us and you made it this far, thank you so much for being with us. Not just today. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Not just today, but through our entire summer class, summer workshops. So we appreciate all your support and we hope that you guys enjoyed your summer classes in APDM. Diba po? So, sa panahon ngayon, yun nga po sabi natin, it's uh, not everybody can go out and travel, not everybody can go on vacations, but we hope that even if we are safe in our homes, you also enjoyed uh, and, and you know, you also enjoyed and had fun with your classmates in APDM. So, for that, uh, maraming salamat po parents for trusting your children with us. And it was a pleasure working with your children. Uh, and we hope to see you again soon for the start of our classes. Ayan. So, maraming salamat po for all the... Uh, thank you to all the parents and children uh, who took part also in the making of all our videos this afternoon. Thank you. Ayan. Um... Just some reminders po. Alright. So, parents' orientation will be on August 14. That is a Saturday. Okay. And then, the start, official start of school year 2021-2022 is on August 16, 2021. Okay. So, enrollment is ongoing. And, uh, yun pong inyong mga video highlights also the teachers prepared video highlights for each and every student in their class. So these are going to be sent to you by your teachers uh, or they may post it in your Google Classrooms. Ayan. So, pwede po natin makita yon, ma-download. Yan po ang ating souvenir and keepsake sa ating summer classes this year. Ayan. And then, uh, just a reminder that uh, parents expect uh, a message via Viber or via the Google Classroom and we're going to post it on our Facebook group as well yun pong ating list of materials for this coming school year 
we're going to post uh, those lists uh, soon. Actually, I think by the end of this week, we're that that list will be available already. Para po tayo ay makapag-prepare ng materials ng mga bata school year. And uh, we would also be coordinating with you regarding the release of the textbooks. Uh, those are going to be prepared pa po here in school. Uh, but rest assured that we will inform you once the textbooks are ready for pickup. Alright, so with that, uh, gusto ko pong magpasalamat sa inyong lahat. And... Uh, this has been Teacher Nina or Miss Almeda, your MC for this afternoon. Yeah, thank you for joining us in our summer staycation party with the theme letting the sun shine in the APDM summer culminating program. All right. Thank you, Miss Almeda. Uh, but don't leave yet because after this, oh, we're oh, going ha. to have our awarding rights. In your yes. respective Zoom calls. Hindi pa po tayo tapos. Oo. Oo. At before we let you go, syempre, mahilig tayo sa group E. Diba? Mm -hmm. so, let's have our group picture. Uh, congratulations everyone for staying until the end. Actually, kanina mm -hmm. 77, now we're 76. Yung isa po siguro dalawang gadget na drain na yung battery ng isa niya. <laughs> kaya 76 na lang tayo ngayon. nag yes si Teacher Judith. Palagay ko siya yun. So, <laughs> let's have our cameras on for a goofy uh, before okay. we our respective calls for the awarding rides. Yes. And nakakatuwa naman yung binibita mo, Ms. Almeda, that the kids will have personalized videos to uh, capture or to siguro, document the highlights of their yes. summer activities here. Now, for parents who uh, whose kids are were enrolled in more than one class, you can choose to join any of the Zoom halls of your child and uh, the certificates of uh, your child from all the programs that he or she has attended will be awarded in that uh, room that you chose for this afternoon. Ayan, sige. Picture na okay. po tayo. Let's uh, have your cameras on. Kids. Smile. All right, smile. Just, just, just uh, keep smiling. This, uh, dark uh, coat out para mas uh -oh. masin yung a summer. Ayan. Okay, everybody. Right. Smile. Smile. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful okay. Smile, smile some more. <laughs> All right. One Thanks, more. Sit down. Sit down. Smile. Smile. I hope you enjoy the program. Okay. And Hey. After this, you know your Zoom links. Go to your Zoom halls. We are going to unmute so you can say goodbye and congratulations and thank you to your friends and teachers. All right, everyone, you can now be heard. You can unmute yourselves and say hello, goodbye, thank you, I love you. Can go to your Zoom classes now. Everybody on Facebook Live, thank you for watching.